bit of a damp day here. Um, luckily the rain is off right now. We got a lever to uh, troubleshoot a condenser up on the roof here. I was doing the maintenance yesterday and one of the compressors was off on high head pressure. I came up on the roof, one of the fans wasn't running, wasn't spinning. Now it's controlled by a fan speed controller. So we're going to have to determine if it's the fan or the controller that's the problem with this machine. So here we go, Liebert condenser. Three fans in this bad boy. Fan at the back, fan in the middle. They are three-phase fans controlled by ambient temperature. There's a, uh, a thermostat that controls each one. This fan on the end is controlled by a Johnson Control P66 fan speed controller. It is a single phase condenser fan. There's the temperature controllers for the two fans at the back. There's the fan speed controller right there. Okay. Um, there's the three phase contactors and there's a single phase contactor. Now here's the P66. So the cover looks like Johnson controls P66. We have a transformer and we have some fuses in there. Now if we look at the diagram here, focus that in for you guys. Now it's got a cap. Here is the, um, the fan speed controller here. And here is the contactors and here is the transformer that powers it up. And here are the fuses and here is the line voltage that it pulls power from. So we're going to go through the troubleshooting process and see if we can fix this thing up. Okay, so the power is off. And if we check across these fuses here, this one's good. This one here, it has quite a bit of resistance through it. So this fuse is gone. So we're gonna change that out and then go from there. Okay, so checking the capacitor is very important. According to the nameplate on the motor, we have a 30 microfarad capacitor. Now this is reading 28.33.30. 35 keeps changing, but we're pretty close to where we need to be. So I don't think the capacitor caused the problem here. So this fuse on the left did blow and we need to check the motor windings now to see if there's an issue with them. And if there's not, we're going to power this thing up and see how it runs. All right. So I've checked the windings. We got two wires here and then the purple wire on the, the controller. Now across all three, I got 6.0, 3.3, and 8.8. .8. So we're right in the range where we should be. They all kind of add up with each other. So this fuse blowing right now is a mystery. Um, we potentially may have a problem with this speed controller. Maybe through it, we're getting too much amp drop. So we're gonna turn this thing on and we're gonna test it out. Well, we powered the puppy up and look, smoke coming out of the controller um, kind of what I was thinking actually so we're gonna have to probably check that fuse again and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bypass this controller totally um, so we don't have power going through it and we're gonna try it out that way so according to the nameplate there uh, PSC motor we should be drawing 4.8 at max. I can't read any information off the motor. It's not there for some reason. So what I've done is I have bypassed the P66. So line one straight to uh, the motor terminal, the motor wire. So we're gonna get this turned back on and we're gonna see what happens. And of course, we're gonna be taking an amp draw of this motor when it starts up. Okay, well we started this fan up here 
with the controller bypass, the span ran for about 10 seconds and we were drawing about 16 amps. All right, so we have a good cap. We have the controller bypass. We know the controller's faulty because it was smoking. I wouldn't trust it anymore for the life of me. And we have a fan motor that was drawn 16 amps that according to the nameplate is rated 4.8 full load. Now what would I do in this situation? Well, I would be changing the fan motor because we know it's drawing too much amperage. I would be replacing the fan speed controller, the capacitor, and now the fuses because we have another blown fuse. That's how I would handle this and just be done with it. And that's not parts changing. We verified that every single part has caused an issue. Well, except for the capacitor because it was, it was reading good. Anyway, fan motor, controller, cap, and fuses. That's the end of this one. Happy HVACing guys.